Yo, what up, world? It's your boy VSC, Mr. Get Silly. Get silly on the mic, get silly with these clippers, you know what I'm saying? Get silly with your girl, it don't matter what, you know what I'm saying? We just get silly, man. AKA the whole world about to know about me, man. You are watching live at the barbershop right now. Go get my ringtone. Yeah. Woo! T Pain. I mean, right now, like I said, seasons change, you know what I'm saying? He, it's his season right now. One person I have to smoke with, um, what's dude name? Money Mike, um, Cat Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with my, my dog, Lil Wayne. Yeah. I mean, no offense to Jay, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z do his thing, man, but, you know, seasons change. My name would be King Dingaling. Please believe it. I don't think I've seen any whack dancers come out of Atlanta. I think the Percolator is a whack dance. Outcast all day, man, what kind of question is that? Man, it's your boy VIC, man. Y'all already know, bruh. Mr. Get Silly, aka the whole world about to know about me. Then I get silly, you know what I'm saying? This is what I was doing in the hood. Y'all already know, you see? Little shop line. And you know, it's not easy to cut this kind of hair right here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be good. You know what I'm talking about? Step your game up, man. And the haircut is not, you know what I'm saying, complete unless you got something with it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Y'all barbers know what I'm talking about, man. So, love this right here. You know what I'm saying? Ah, get it in there, you know what I'm saying? Get it in there, all good, you know what I'm saying? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Then it got that, <clears throat> got that smell to it, bro. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, no, no frap. No frap. Peace. This is Justice God of Law from Jamaica, Queens, Barbershop Scissors. I'm going to break down the top five rules to what a barber needs to know in this game. The fifth rule is this. The barber should always know how to use a razor because you don't want to be coming out of there scarred up. So the barber should always know how to use a razor. If you can't use a razor, this game ain't for you. Rule number four. All your tools should be sterilized. I don't want to go in there and have to come back with, with big monster bumps on my neck and all around my ear. No good. If your clippers ain't sterilized, man, I don't think you need to be working. This ain't for you. The third rule, everybody cuts at their own speed. But I don't want to be sitting there waiting there forever, man. I don't want to sit there and watch a whole movie in the barbershop, man. So punctuality is important. I don't want to sit there more than, I would say, maybe 20 minutes, depending on the appointment I set up with you. So time is everything. You want to get in and you want to get out, but you want a nice cut. So everybody cuts at their own speed once again, but I don't want to be there forever. I got things to do. Number two, make sure that you smell good. Because if you're close to my face and you're not my woman, then I, I would hope that 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 you, you smell good, man. You know what I mean? I mean, gums is good, mints, Listerine, a nice little bottle of Mr. Listerine is, is perfect. And uh, make sure that you, you smell good. And of course you look good, because if you look good, you feel good. And number one, the most important rule out of all of them, don't push my hairline back, no now. If you push my hairline back, my man, I'm not coming to you, you definitely ain't getting paid. So that's the most important rule in this game. Do not push my hairline back. And what I want is what I want. Don't cut my hair the way you want to cut it. Listen to what I want you to do. And that's the most important rule. Yeah, man, that was my man VIC, man. Happy to have him in New York, man. Now you're leaving one of the gulliest states, NYC, to go to San Francisco, where my man Seneca's at, at Cut Above the Rest. Peace. Yo, this is live from the barbershop, Seneca, Cut Above the Rest, 6295 3rd Street, San Francisco, California. Best haircuts in town, so if you're ever in the town, come on by, stop by, we'll take care of you. From razor shaves, from fresh fades, afros, tapers, anything you want, we got it.
Uh, that's hard to say, you know. Um, actually, I wouldn't say who would it be because I would, re I would rather pick the little man at the totem pole and work my way up to see how my skills can be. Then once I get work my way down to up, I prefer Jay-Z. You know, he's a money man, you know. Craziest thing, I got into it with another barber at my old barber shop, and today I had to revenge myself today. See my hand right here? I got cut all up, you know. Not to brag on it, but I'm still bleeding, but I had to do what I had to do, you know. <laughs> got about a rest. <laughs> Um, no question on that. You know, what I don't know won't hurt. You know what I'm saying? They still ain't proved it. Do you see it's, it's proven? Proven? I don't know what to say about that, you know? I mean, you know, uh, Kardashian, you know, she kind of bad though, but you know, I, I like her. I like that ass though, so I gotta go with Buffy the body, you know? I like that, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, leaning. Yeah, I'm trying to lean in something, so I need some, I need a lot of cushion for the pussy, you know what I'm talking about? Alright, man, I ain't finna be a porno star though. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't better do it. I, I, you know, I ain't better do that one. <laughs> Say that again. Because they call me Harry Potter, I'm gonna disappear, boy. Hey, uh, nah, he, he probably want to do something, but nah, I'm, I'm cool, nah, I ain't, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> You would be a porn star? If I want to, I can do that. I'm a rock boy. Yeah, man, you know, we'll smoke one with George Clinton, man, you know, he blow a lot of, you know, he the original, man, you know what I mean? Playing a football in prison, though. They might slap him on his ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might get the wrong intentions, man. He might be a little too much touchy touchy feely, man. I don't cool. Uh, I got a little Pac. Uh, I got a little Biggie. Uh, Jay. Um, Nas. And probably Wayne. Oh, shit, man. I hate record, man. This is it. Pussy a dime a dozen, man. I need a hit record. That's what I need. I can get pussy any day. That's nothing. I mean, right now, man, I'm just, you know what I'm saying, doing me, man. I like to, you know, I like to do a lot of club records, man. I like to keep the club cracking. That's me, you know what I mean? I'm a fun dude. I like to have fun. And, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm on. You feel me? Faz was one of those records that when it came on, the whole club when it cracked, was cracking. You feel me? It, was a, it started the party, you know what I mean? So. That's like the type of music I like to do, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm staying doing, me, I'm gonna stand my lane. Um, lean in it, man, that's like a song like, man, you know what I'm saying? You leave the club, man, it's three o'clock in the morning. I mean, you offer a couple shots of Patron, you know what I'm saying? Off some good perk or something, you know what I mean? You trying to lean in something, you trying to get some pussy, you feel me? So that's what leaning, I'm trying to lean in something, you know what I mean? So for all you dudes out there, man, I know you're trying to lean in something, so. And uh, all you ladies want to get linked in, so you know what it is. That's what's, that's the hype right now. Uh, shit, Wayne. Wayne hotter than um, Jay right now. This right here, you know, this DVD. <laughs> you know, I just walked in this motherfucker and all of a sudden I'm on camera, put on the spot, asking me uh, 21 questions, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, this your boy Kafani, man. You checking out live at the barbershop. Fast.